Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again and again and again and again and again and again and again. I'm back for another video for this week. So, I just wanna say thank y'all for 3,000 subs. Keep it coming, no, I'm just playing, but I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Um, today's video is gonna be another story time. I'm not doing it in no special way, I'm just gonna do it. Um, Cause I've been doing a lot of hair, so I just wanna even it out, you know what I'm saying? I'm just wearing a pineapple cause I'm gonna go to work like this in a minute. But yeah, my star, it's, it's raining outside, so this little, this little dilemma. But, okay, so my story is about my first time meeting someone off of Tinder and how they played me, okay? This is a long time ago. It's like years ago online. This is like junior year. It's like junior year. And, uh, <laughs> and so look, listen, <laughs> I was, I thought he was fine. Like, I, I would FaceTime my friend all the time. <laughs> We should start over, okay? So on Tinder, you know how you swipe left, swipe right? <laughs> and when you swipe left, swipe right, so I'm, you know, going through, trying to find, find daddy in the Tinder slot, and I'm like, okay, so let me just swipe it right real quick, hold up. Swipe right, I'll wait a couple of days, you know what I'm saying, and I just get a match. And normally I'm never on Tinder, like, I was never the type to be on Tinder or Grindr in, like, the gay world, but this time I just had Tinder, you know? And, um, because I was being a hoe, I guess, I don't, I don't know, but... He swiped right, and I'm just like in awe because like to me he was, he wasn't like, now that I look at it, he's not too fine, but he was like good looking, like he was handsome, but he was like a pretty boy, and I'm not really into that, but he, you know what, the desert is dry over here, so I was being thirsty, like it's okay, don't worry about it, but he like messaged me and everything, he was like, what's up, what's up, what's up, I added, no, actually, did I message him first? Shit, I followed him on Instagram first, because your Instagrams were like, um, linked to it and I followed him on there he followed me and I somehow we ended up talk, talking I don't know if I messaged him first or he messaged me first but he was hella dry and it was like I'm the type that if you're dry I'm gonna be dry too so I was dry back and right when I would be dry back he would ask me a question so I'm like okay is he interested or what so then he asked me for my number and I was like okay sure <laughs> we moving along moving along and then like we were texting and he was still dry and he had texted me and he was like send me a video of you talking which is weird because he had an iPhone and when he texted me it just came up as his email so I didn't really like even ask for his like legit number and I was like okay we could have just literally FaceTimed but I mean I guess or whatever so he was like he said say um he wanted me to say what he what he wanted me to say what they told me what to say in the video there we go and I said it and he was like he was making, he was buttering my biscuit, that's what he was doing. He was telling me, he said, you're cuter than I thought you were, a lot cuter than I thought you were going to be. I don't even know if that's a compliment or if that's just an insult straight up, but I was like, I felt some type of way. I was like, okay, that's my foot in the door, like, I'm going to give me this man, you know what I'm saying? So then, I was like, you need to do the same because I'm not going to be catfish because, I mean, his Instagram didn't make me think he was catfished, but like, I've had my times, okay? And... And he, I told him, I said, I told him to say, you can't run. I got, wait. Gotta find you and make you want me. Ready or not? Ready or not? Okay. Ready or not? He said, I said, ready or not? Here I come. You can't hide. And he did it so far. When I tell you when he sent me that video, I was dead. I was on the floor. I was weak. Lord had to come save me or something because my mom is calling me. And so God knows I was on the floor. I was weak. He had to come save me, revive me, give me my soul back because I didn't let it went to heaven. Sorry, my mom called. But so after he sent me that, I was like, look, I can feel this nigga. Maybe, just maybe he's dry on text message because I like niggas. Like I like dudes. Like I like me a dude. And you know, just straight dudes in general, they are just dry. <laughs> but not. And so he was like hella dry. So I was like, maybe, just maybe in person he's not dry and at this time i had just got my license just got my car and um no i'm just i had my license but i just got my car and i was 17 and he lived in austin and i lived um not here where i'm at now i live back at home and so that that drive was like a 45 minute drive so i was like willing to make that drive because you know long distance can work long distance can work it wasn't even that long of a distance like and i was gonna move to school closer to austin anyway so i was like god's trying to test me 
<laughs> I really thought it was in the hands of God. I thought it was fate. I thought it was, you know, meeting somebody special for once on Tinder. Like, I was like, maybe Tinder can work. Maybe it can work, but it lied. Like, Tinder lied to me. So then, uh, he, okay, so one day he was like, we need to meet up. And like, none of our plans were clashing because I had, um, you know, school. And then I had like, I had to plan when to leave because I lived with grown ass people. So like, I couldn't just be like, bye, I'm going to Austin. Like, no, I couldn't do that. So I had to plan. And then he was like, come on a Saturday, but he had to work until five. And I was like, I mean, I guess. And so, um, normally when someone works at five and you want to go home, like it's off of work at five and you want to go home to change, you know, you leave work and you tell me to be there by like six because you have to change. Hello. Well, I got, he told, okay, he told me to meet him at Target, okay, and I wasn't, I wasn't tripping, like, I love Target, and the funny thing is, I was sitting in the, I was sitting in my car, and I had my friend on FaceTime because I didn't want to die, so, I, I noticed on FaceTime that my ass was just ashy, like, my elbows were ashy, my ankles were ashy, like, the whole shebang was, was, was just ash, like, like, it was, like, it, like, my skin was just, it was, there's no excuse, so my little, my little light skin butt just like ran it and I was like low-key bald headed at the time so don't so don't even think I had hair or nothing like I was bald headed so my ass just ran into the target I pumped a couple pumps of that lotion in the lotion aisle and I rubbed on my elbows and I got it taken care of and I just walked right back out of target and got in my car and just sat and waited for him so then he's not even there like he's texting me and he's texting me and he's like I just got off I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get um I'm gonna go get um ready and stuff and I'm like I'm already here and he was like set a timer and I thought that was so cute because he was like set a timer so you can tell me how long it took me to get there and I'm like oh that's cute so then okay he doesn't even wait for me in the parking lot to meet me like he literally walks into Target and I'm just sitting there in my car still like are you here and he's like where are you at I'm like in my car and so I walk into Target and have to find him he told me to find him in the home decor aisle that's sketchy as like how am I gonna have to go look for you like what so I meet him you know we didn't even hug or nothing it was just awkward and like we walked around Target and like he wouldn't start a con like he wouldn't start a conversation and if I did he would not even continue it like I was like he had longer hair so I was like what made you out your hair because at the time I, I thought I had inches but I didn't like that was like, everything about my life in that moment was a lie it was just a lie and he was just like I was like what made you out your hair and he was like I don't know sir like excuse me what do you mean you don't know like can I get a story like you live on your own you live in a big ass city like can I get a reason behind you growing out your hair like your race like like no one just goes out their hair especially if you a dude for no reason like what you mean you don't know it just popped up on your head like explain so then he we literally walked through Target for like five seconds like kid you not we left Target and he was like I want to go to this like mall I've never been there before so I was like okay and normally a dude would be like I'll take like you can drive with me especially in a big ass city like you can drive with me I'll just drop you back at Target and I was waiting for him to do that but I was like so you want me to follow you or what and he was like yeah just follow me bro do you understand like you cannot follow somebody in Austin like when you're deep in Austin like you just can't follow somebody especially if there's traffic like you got me 10 times that, like, that just don't make no sense. But I just said, okay. I just said, okay. I plugged the thing into my GPS so I didn't get lost. I tried following him, but I didn't. And so I finally got there. And I'm, like, asking him, like, where'd you park? Because I lost you, so I don't know where you parked. And he told me he parked by the store. So I saw the store before, so I just parked in, like, another parking location next to the store. So I got my happy ass out of the car ready to, like, go on this adventure. And I literally FaceTimed my friend again because I did not want to die again. Because I was in, like, the city and it was, like, it was, like, Everything just interrupted me. That's so rude. And it was in the city, and I was just didn't want to be by myself. So I parked. I walked down the. I walked down the little thing. It was like a parking garage, and I walked my butt all the way to the store where he was at. I texted him. I'm like, I'm here. I'm sorry. Where are you at? Nothing. Like I was on Facetime for like 15 minutes, just sitting outside, waiting for him outside of this door. It was Norman. It was Neiman Marcus. It was some high intense store that I was not dumb. I wasn't gonna walk into this fancy ass store that I obviously could not afford like and wait for a nigga. So I just sat outside on FaceTime with my friend. So I'm talking to my phone, waiting for him to text me back. Keep in mind I do not have his number. Like I don't have a number. So he texts me and literally says, I don't see this working out. I'm sorry.
and that's it like that's literally it so it's not like I could have like called him because we weren't on like Wi-Fi or anything like that and like I like I didn't even reply to him I didn't like do nothing I just walked my little sorry but all the way back to my car y'all when I tell you I feel heartbroken I didn't even know the dude and I felt heartbroken like bro you could have pretended you could have told me this in the Target parking lot that you weren't feeling some type of way like why'd you drag me all the way to a different location to tell me no like you could have at least pretended or like it's not like it's not like I was going to marry you that same day like you could we could have literally walked around as friends like that's normally where you start that's what don't make no sense because you could have literally just asked me to you literally could have just been straight up or you literally just could have like still walked around the stores like a conversation does not mean you have to like take me home at the end of the night like so that's what made no sense to me and I literally got in my car and I was driving back home and I, me and my friend got on FaceTime and I just started balling. I wasn't balling because this nigga played me but I was balling because I wasted all that gas and that time and I was in traffic and I had to drive my butt all the way home and I did not get no food out of it, I did not get no gas money out of it, I did not get nothing out of it and I was disappointed in myself because I fell for that and I thought about it too and I was like he was not even that fine, like fine enough to be doing that to me like I deserve, like if you want to do that to me like Regardless if I'm ugly or not, like, you need to be a god, like, like, you need to be freaking a magical being or some shit or a unicorn or some shit because you don't, you don't have the right, like, like, a text message? And literally, I was noticing, like, some sketchy shit because he ma matched with me on Tinder, but he didn't, like, he unmatched with me after he gave me his number, like, he unmatched and there was nothing there, and then he, he, like, weird, like, he blocked me from his Instagram before we met, so I was, like, so he was just an asshole. He wasn't even fine. Like, he was good looking, but, like, I mean, I guess it's good that it ended there and not, like, wasn't drawn out. But, yo, I deleted Tinder so fast, and, I and like, I just don't do that. I just don't do that. I can't. It was, it was weird. Like, it was really uncomfortable. Leaving meeting him at Target to begin with was weird. Like, I could have died. When you think about it, like, someone could just took my ass. Like, I'm only 5'3". Like, what am I gonna do? Defend myself? Like beat, like beat him up? Where, where, where? Like what am I gonna do? So he could have kidnapped me. He could have, he could have not liked me and just killed me right then and there. Like I'm crazy. So I mean that's that's about it. Like someone on Tinder played me, played me in person, but was too scared to tell me in person. So I wasted I wasted 45 minutes. Well, it actually took me an hour and 30 minutes to get there because of traffic. You know what? I'm not even mad no more because in the past, but he still played me. He still played me and it's like Who does that? Like how are you grown and you do that to me? Like I was only 17 and I acted more mature than him like Where's Like someone please explain how that works out because and you know what maybe if I had my hair and I and I had inches Maybe he would have liked me head ass knowledge slam, but <laughs> but um, but no, I was bald headed So I look more manly like if that's if that's that's the case but like he didn't even give me no reason no like no like subtle like and like like we couldn't be friends like that's where I'm confused so yeah but ever since then I've been like single so yeah but it was just a mess yo like there's so many tinder like fancy stories and there's so many tinder like there's like tinder stories where like it worked and there's tinder stories that like don't and I was just like not in any of those categories because it never even happened. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It was weird. And that was literally it. I don't know if that was like entertaining, but it was like fucked up, wasn't it? So, sorry for the profanity. Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. But I'll let y'all go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Well, thank you for the subs, the subscribers. The 3,000 subscribers, y'all are clutch. Keep it coming, like, share. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think below. And if you have if you have any Tinder stories, let me know below so we can relate because I feel dumb. Why well, I felt dumb? I don't feel dumb now. That's like like four years later. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. <gasps> Bye. I'ma do it like I'm done. I'ma do it like I'm done.